Hello Tikis. In this tutorial, we will learn about logo detection action which is available under Google Vision Actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. By using logo detection, we will detect company and brand logos which are residing inside the images. All right, but you may ask, label detection also will doing the same thing. But over here, label detection action detects and extracts the information about the entities in an image. Whereas, logo detection action will detect company and brand logos which are residing inside the images. Both are extracting the information, whereas logo detection will detect company and brand logos over here, which are already there inside the image. All right. Now, we'll see the parameters first. If you see the parameters, this is the same parameters what we have for the remaining actions under the vision actions. First one, API key. API for application programming interface key. This key will be available from Cloud Vision API, which are there inside the Google Cloud Platform. Second one, provide images. These images we can provide from, from file, that is from local file, and after it from GCS. GCS stands for Google Cloud Storage. All right, I will explain you these two things in this tutorial. Now, image file, whenever you have selected from file, it will ask for the path in the local drive. Whenever you are going to select from GCS, it will ask the URI of the image from the Google Cloud Store. You can see over here the difference, right? Now, if you go for the advanced, the connectivity between Power Automate Desktop and the Cloud Vision API, the connectivity between them, we have to wait for 30 seconds. This is the timeout which we are going to get it. Now, if you see the outputs, we are having two outputs. Once you are going to connect with the Cloud Vision API, whenever you are going to detect logos. First one is the JSON response, another one is the status code. JSON response is the JavaScript object notation is the standard text-based information. Whereas status code will have 200 as well as 400. 200 stands for successful request and response, whereas 400 is the bad request and response. All right. Now, the first parameter is the API key. Now, let me go to Google Cloud Platform. Under the APIs and services, we have created Vision API. You can see over here, I'm having Vision API. Let me copy the key over here. I'm going to provide the same API key over here. Now, provide image. I will show you a small example over here. If you see, I'm having an image with Microsoft CEO, that is Satinadala. And after that, you can find in this image, I'm having a logo. This image represents Satinadala with Microsoft logo over here, all right? I want to detect the logo from this particular image. All right, in that case, I'm going to use from file because of that image is residing on my local. I'm going to select the image file path over here as E colon Power Automate Desktop Logo Detection. There you can see I'm having image, which I have just shown you, right? And I'm going to click on open. And then the variables produced over here, I'm having JSON response and the status code will get it as an output. Over here, I have selected provide image from file as a first example, and then I'm going to click on save. From this logo detection action, we'll get the logos over here. If you observe, once again, the image, what we have in this image, we're having an object that is human, and after that, we're having a logo. But by using logo detection, we will detect only the logos, all right? Whereas the label, what will happen? It will detect the logos, and also it will detect the objects like person, right? Now, let me go ahead and let me run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and it has successfully completed. Now you can see over here the status code is 200, right? And the JSON response, let's open the JSON response. There you can see logo annotations. Let's click on more. You can see the values over here mid and after the description, you can see Microsoft Corporation, right? Let me keep the image side by side. 
there you can see the logo is Microsoft, right? And you can see the score 0 0.961087 on bonding poly and as well as you are having some other values also. There you can see the description. The logo is identified the Microsoft Corporation, right? And that's the reason you can see the verticals x16, y83, x179. These are the height and width of the particular image, all right? Now let's click on close. Now I will show you one more example over here. That example, I'm going to get it from the Google Cloud Storage. Now let's click on logo detection action. There I'm going to use provide image from GCS, from Google Cloud Storage. And you have to provide the GCS image URL. This GCS image URL we have seen already from our previous session, but still I will show you one more time over here. Let's go to Google Cloud Storage, which is available inside the Google Cloud Platform. Now, in my Google Cloud Storage, I have created one bucket with the name of pad bucket, that is Power Automate Desktop bucket. And there you can see I have uploaded these two images, which I have just shown you. One is Satya Nadella with Microsoft. There you can see over here. This is the same image which we just seen it, right? Another one, another one, Sundar Pichai with Google logo. You can see over here, Sundar Pichai with Google logo. Now, to work with the GCS image URI, we need to copy this GS slash pad bucket slash SJ dot GPG image. All right, let me copy that. And then I'm going to provide this URL in the GCS image URI. All right, now let's click on save. Now, by looking into this image, we need to get the Google, right? We need to get the Google logo from the particular image. That is Google logo. All right, now let's go back to the flow and then I'm going to click on run to see the output. Flow execution started. And then you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you see the JSON response over here, there you can see logo annotations, there you are having the values. If you click on that, you can see the description as Google. And the score, it's a 0 0.9908456. And you can see the verticals over here. Once again, if I click on that, I'm having the description as Google. Even in the image, we're having multiple images inside the particular image, but still we have extracted only the logo by using logo detection action. Now we'll play with JSON response a little bit. Now, once again, if you open the JSON response over here, I want to get the description of the logo, right? I want to know what is the logo annotations which we have for the description, which we just given as an image, right? If you see, I'm having the description over here as logo as an output. How can we get it the output as Google or the description from the particular response. There you can see I'm having responses of zero. Inside that, this is the zero is nothing but index. Inside that, I'm looking for the logo annotations. Again, there's the index. Inside that, I'm having description. This is the custom object so that whenever you want to get the response, you're going to use this JSON responses. All right, now let me click on close. Now to display the output, I'm going to use display message. Let me drag and drop this display message action onto the workspace. Now I'm going to give the title as logo detection. And after that, I want to display the message. So what is the agenda over here? I need to display the description which we got it as part of JSON, all right? So I'm going to get the flow variable over here as JSON response, but inside that I am having the responses. I'm going to do in a square brackets and I'm going to give responses in the single quotes. And after that, over there I am having the index of zero. There inside that once again, I'm having logo annotations, right? I'm going to type logo annotations. Inside that I'm having again the index of zero. 
index of 0 is nothing but number of items. It will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now we are having only one item so that I have given in the responses as 0 and the logo annotations also I am having one response so that I have given it as 0. Now what is the value we need to get it from there? Description. I need to get it the description. I have given all the values in the single quotes. All right. Now let me click on save. Now once again I will show the JSON response. You can see JSON response in the responses. I am having logo annotations, right? In the logo annotations, I am having only one item that is zero. That is starts with index zero. If you see once again in the logo annotations, I am having only one item. There you can see the description. If you see the entire output, how I have given responses of zero over here, the index zero logo annotations of zero there. It is case sensitive, right? I have to give the value of logo annotations. There you can see capital A so that I need to provide the same value. Let me make the change over here as logo annotations. It's a case sensitive. All right. Let me click on save. Now, once again, we will run the flow to see the output flow execution started and there you can see the output over here logo detection as Google. All right. Now, once again, I will change a little bit over here in the bucket. So I'm going to select another image. There is another image with Satya Nadella with Microsoft. That is the image I am having in the Google Cloud Storage. All right. Let me click on save. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see the output logo detection as Microsoft Corporation. All right. Now, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with logo detection action as part of this tutorial. And also we learn how to retrieve the images from the file as well as from the Google Cloud Storage as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.